Hey guys, welcome to Tony's How To's. In this video, I will show you how to add song in Roblox Studio or how to add a background music in Roblox Studio. And before we start, hurry up and check out our latest over just under this video. So let's get started. Now the first thing that we have to do here is we want to locate the music that we want to use for our game. So for this example, we have to go to the create tab here. Just click on that. Now from here, we want to go to marketplace. Now under marketplace, you could go to audio and it's going to load up. So it's going to take a few seconds for some because of the amount of content that we have here. Now going here, you could choose the genre that you want to use. So for example, we could go ahead and choose ambient here. Now from here, you could choose the music that you want to use. So for this example, we want to use this one. And from here, we want to go to more info. And the most important thing about this audio is the ID itself. So you could view the ID at the link or URL at the top of your screen here. And you can just basically highlight this specific ID and copy this one. And we'll be able to use this on our later or on, on our game later on. Now from here, let's just open up Roblox Studio. Then from here, we want to edit our game or you want to create your game now now let's just wait for this to load up and let's just create our new game so here let's go ahead and create a base template here and once that loads up you want to open up your workspace here and you want to create a new object so that object is going to be a sound type it here just click on sound and here click on sound again and from here you just need to go ahead and paste the id under the sound id option or property here and just hit on enter it's going to automatically create that link and from here for you to ensure that it is, it is actually playing in the background you want to ensure that the following properties is enabled so you have to enable the loop property so whenever it actually plays it's going to play again so by default it's go it should put it should be in playing state also so make sure that you also enable this one so by default whenever you enter the game it's going to play automatically on your game so whenever it ends it's going to be looped again meaning this is the main background sound for our game now now from here you can just basically start playing and from here you should be able to hear the background music now on your game so it's actually pretty easy, but I'll, I'll be also showing you how you could upload your own music. Now to do this, you want to first go to the create.roblox.com website again. And you, I, from here, you want to go to your dashboard. Now in here, you want to go to development items. You want to go to audio. And from here, you need to upload your asset. So I have this music here. I'm going to drag it in here. And from here, I could change the asset type, but we want to change this is as audio. We want to add the name and the description and just click on upload. So just a fair warning about this one. So make sure when you upload your music on your assets, make sure that this is your original music and you will not be uploading any other people's music here. So if you upload music that is not yours, then you will be risking your account being banned for one day. So make sure that you are uploading your original music when you do this. So just be informed that this is actually a uh, limit on the audio. So it should be under 20 MB and must be less than 7 minutes and the format of that MP3 or that OGG. Now from here, you need to click on your music and same thing. You need to copy your ID. Let's go back to Roblox Studio. And here you place the sound ID, press on enter. And from here, let's just play this one and see if that actually changes. As you can see, the music has now changed and I'm now using my music and that's about it. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video and found it helpful, you could use the link in the description to subscribe. See you in the next video.